Hello, Fat Guy Flies RC here. How y'all doing? Well, we got the X Fly Nova all together, and I want to just go over a few things that you, as the consumer and the new pilot and builder, um, are going to need to are going to encounter that I encountered when I put the plane together. First and foremost, when you take your props out, get some sort of prop balancer. I'll have a, a link to a how to balance your prop video in the in the description of this video. But like this is the Dubrose prop balancer. Both of my props were fairly out of balance. Uh, and so I had I went ahead and balanced them. Now they're perfect. Um, the only tool that you'll be needing to use to put the entire plane together is a two millimeter hex head drive. You will end up with one extra screw, a little 10 millimeter um, machined screw. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to see that or not. A little screw like that uh, with a hex head. Um, also, go down to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever mechanic shop you got. Get you some of these little magnetic trays. They are a lifesaver when it comes to keeping up with your screws. You don't want to have a screw loose. Huh. Okay. Now back to the plane. You're going to have a screw on nut. Interesting enough, I found that the screw on nuts don't, you know, you got, they're counterclockwise turning props. They go in this way and they go in this way, but both the uh, screws seem to go on. They tighten on the right tight. So I, that's the way it's designed. So, okay. Usually with the counterclockwise uh, props, they, the prop adapters go in the same direction or the opposite direction of the props. Well, these both tighten to the right. So I, I at least mine did. Um, four of those 10 millimeter screws hold your wings on. And the only, you got like a 22 millimeter screw is the only long screw that you have will hold in your horizontal stabilizer right here. Now, since we got the plane upside down, You've got the one magnetic hatch back there for your uh, receiver that you have. Um, so you're going to mount it you know, down here. Um, I found when I unboxed the video, when I unboxed the plane, I found that both of my ESC hatches, these are just little plastics, real light plastic hatches that cover your ESC. Both of them had come off. They're just glued on. They're easy just to peel off, service your ESC or change it, whatever you have to do. And then, or in case you have to change the ro rotation of your props in case it's wrong, which mine were proper. And just glue them back on. Mine had come off, it's just real simple glue. They're designed to be able to peel off and glue, excuse me, and then glued back in place. Um, I found that one of my flaps and one of my ailerons were not trimmed. So I, and they're all ball link all the way around. So I undid one of the ball links with, when made sure all my servos were neutral and I manually turned my ball link clevis in or out until I got everything centered. So I did have to do a little bit of mechanical trimming. I also, on the elevator, I had to. Rudder was spot on. Um, you got those three screws here. There's a plastic doubler here. Your, your uh, landing gear just slides right in, uh, like a piece of the puzzle. The doubler goes right on top of it, and the screws in with three screws. The same. Like I say, you only got two size screw, a whole bunch of little 10 millimeter, and then one that's like 22 millimeter, or however long it is, but it's just twice as long. And uh, so that's that. Like I said, the props were out of balance. Be careful when you put, you're going to slide your wing spar in when you're putting the wings on. You have a jumble of wires, uh, three connectors and one ESC connector. You have a throttle connector. You have um, flaps and aileron connector. Your lights are powered through your aileron servo, just so you're aware. All three of those will plug into a little... You've seen those servo connectors have little clips on both sides that hold it together. Well, you've got three of those put together, not labeled. However, the wires coming out of the wings are. Okay. No, wait, wait. I'm, I, I lied to you. No, both sides are labeled. I apologize. Um, little box is labeled flaps or ailerons, and the one who's that's not labeled is your throttle. And the same thing with the ESC coming out. 
the, the uh, servo lead off of it, it is not labeled, so it's your throttle. So the one that's not labeled is throttle. Everything else is labeled. Remember, the way you hook them up, light to light, dark to dark. I, when you see your little three-part housing to plug your three wires in, I suggest plugging in the center one first, which if I remember right was flaps. Okay. And then throttle in the back and um, aileron in the front, or however way yours is labeled. But I just suggest doing the middle one first. It's just easier. Um, okay, what else can I tell you about the build? It was actually very simple. Um, you're, you don't have to do anything to the, to the nose uh, servo or the nose gear. It's already installed for you. There are no... Um, decals all the decals are already installed even the antenna is already here and this is a very stout strong little antenna the rudder uh, linkage is already uh, put on there for you the um, the only the only linkage you have to do is the elevator linkage here and install your push rudder so make sure you you bind it up make sure you or have a servo tester make sure your servo is um, center and then hook up your elevator okay um, i hooked all of my everything up to factory settings it looks like it's got plenty of movement and um like i said i put my receiver in here and in your root bay i got my batter my uh, antenna at 90 degrees from each other and everything is labeled so you just put in the appropriate channel for whatever your receiver however kind of receiver you use now let's talk for just a little bit. Um, if you're like me, I'm used to, I use Velcro lots of times to attach my uh, batteries. I like to put the fuzzy Velcro on my battery and the hard brittle battery or Velcro on my plane. However, this particular plane, if that's what, how you like it, you're going to have to reverse it because they've already got Velcro installed in here and they've got the fuzzy Velcro uh, stuck to the plane and the firm Velcro on the peel away. So if you like it the way I like it, you'll have to turn that around. Big battery bay. The uh, battery strap is adjustable. This will take from a 2200 up to a 5000 3S. Remember, remember 3S only. It does not recommend it from 4S, from what I understand. It has an EC3 connector for your battery. And EC3 connectors on both sides go into the appropriate EC3 connectors inside the wing attachment. Um, one word of warning. When you get your model, uh, make sure you check your wiring and everything when it comes out of the wings. Uh, because whenever you go to attach everything and attach all your wings, make sure you're able, I suggest shoving the con conglomeration of wires into the channels. There, there's a little bit of room inside the wing, but there's more room inside the top here to shove it in because these wings do fit in tight. Okay, so once so, and it's easy for you, I, like you can see right here, I have a little dent right here where I had the, the throttle, well, the throttle, uh, battery uh i can't say big red wire got caught in there and it actually did on my phones and it realized oh oh crap it was bound and uh, so shove everything deep in there um but don't use anything sharp just use your finger or your little finger get everything nice and tight and then slide your wing and it, it, it is kind of tight so you're going to have to kind of hold it from one side press in and then screw it in it's not going to click into place you're going to have to kind of hold it in and then drop your screws. But once it's in, they're, 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 you don't have to keep screwing and screwing. They go in pretty tight, pretty quick. Um, don't do like I did and set it on your plane stand with some green paint still on there. Oh, I got green paint on my plane. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, can't think of anything else to show you. Um, I'm using... And don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm using this kind of a receiver. Now, plug out to Value Hobby in Illinois. This is the S S603 DSMX protocol or Spectrum protocol receiver. 
their very long antenna, dual diversity. That's what I put in this plane. I've got them in probably 20 of my other planes. Um, they're $15.40 $15 at Value Hobby. And I've had zero problems with them. I've, had, I've been using them for years. Very pleased with them. Great range. They're simple. There's no kind of gyro. There's no kind of stabilization. There's nothing. It's just straight channel. Uh, and um, they're just a good receiver. Very reliable. Very economical. Um, people talk about all these cheap things off Amazon and stuff. These come from Value Hobby. They're all over eBay. You can find them on Amazon for like 25 bucks. But I get them at, Value, at uh, Value Hobby, Illinois for $15 and some change. I buy two and I pay like $3 shipping. You know, for $35, I got two good quality receivers. Yes, they're not Spectrum. But I got to tell you, they're good receivers. I, I've, I've had, I've, I really trust them. I've had, I've had them pass range tests when some of my better Spectrum receivers couldn't pass a range test. So go figure. Um... But anyway, as far as this plane, simple build. Um, your your um, props are already painted. Comes that way. Your front wheel has suspension, your nose gear. And I took her out and drove her around my uh, driveway just to see how she taxis. Taxis great. Has a real good turn on her as far as maneuver. I mean, not on a dime, but she turns really well. And um, can't wait to get a maiden out. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. This is my build overview. I can't think of anything else. The manual, oh yeah, the manual is done very, very well. It explains, um, let me show you, let me just show you a picture real quick of where the CG, the CG on the plane is 53 to 58 millimeters back from the leading edge of the wing. So, basically, about... You see where that you can see on this plane, you got your screw here, and then you got this piece of plastic that comes up. If you go straight across here, right about right there where my finger is, that's where the CG is. Okay? Look for these, these plastic pieces. They end, they end right there, straight across. That's your CG. So basically, about that far in. So you've about maybe about two inches, and I don't have a battery in here, so it's going to be tail heavy, but about two inches in from the leading edge of the wing right here, and for this kind of a high wing plane, this is where you would check your CG. So about two inches in from the leading edge. So, all right, folks. Um, don't know what else to say. I'm not, I didn't, i um, trying not give a, trying to give a plug to Bitco Hobby, but I got this from Bitco Hobby. And folks, um, I purchased them, and I gotta tell you, I have, you know, everybody has different experiences, but I will tell you this, my experiences with Bitco Hobby over the years has been great. Um, no problem at all, they're easy to deal with. You got a problem, just shoot them an email. Just go ahead and take a picture of it and say, hey, look, here's what I found, you know, and they'll help you out. They're, they're good people, and I've had zero problem with them. All right, folks, y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all, and we'll see you later. Turn the camera off now.